Hello, this is Gameli, RevitTunes.com. Let's continue with the MEP 2000. And let me close this section to see. We are going to work on this this area. And let me move it so we don't see too much of the building. So it's this, this area. And as you see, because there is no ceiling over here, there is no plenum space. So this will go all the way to the level three. So it's like a double story situation because we are separating the plenum space. The same thing will be if there was no floor over here and it was all the way to the roof. So then the this space will be all the way to the whatever is the next floor or next roof. So in this case, it's going to cover level two and level two plenum. Uh, so let's go back to level two. And space. And let's say now all the way to level three because there is no ceiling. But if there is a ceiling, we just put it back and zero offset. And I'm going to put it somewhere here. So now if you see this, this zone is too big. So we need to split it in, in two parts. So I will do from this so uh, space. A and space B because it's too, too big. So here we have the tool space separator and let's split this somewhere. So if this is as big as that, let's say somewhere by the middle of this. And we are going to use as a reference maybe this one. So I'm going to say separate from here all the way to the other side. And you will see it shrink that portion. Now let's name it. This will be using the architect name 216, 216 and corridor corridor and let's let's say a section a and the other one will be section b so because this split that portion now i had to um, again on the home analyze space again uh, up to level three my limit zero offset and no leader all this is new now I have the chance to put the other part and now you see this is one one half and this is the other half and it was split it and maybe I could have split it more lower so they were about the same size but it's okay for this exercise and rename it and corridor and 216b automatically has that number okay and if, if we look the the section again earlier section is the the thing we we I was mentioning there is no reflective ceiling here so it goes all the way and the sower stops right there this space at level three because I chose that my tab and actually remove the floor thickness which is really cool it's automatic all right now let's do another one, a multi-story space, and this is a good sample. Uh, a, a 
chase, a dog chase, or avoid the space right here. I'm going to open this section. And again, I don't see the spaces. The green color is the spaces. So I could right click on, on the blank space and look for the properties, or I could type VG, VG and will bring me to this this window and S spaces and again turn on the interior and turn on the reference say ok so I could, I could see now the space I, I was talking about is this chase so I know it's from this level all the way to that level which is level 2 this is level let's turn it on level 2 to roof level and so let's go to level 2 and I just deleted I, I was doing an exercise I, I created before and I deleted so I'm gonna put it back on and okay I should choose here I didn't choose, uh, I should choose from, my, my upper level should be roof, and my offset should be zero. Let's say I did, care, I wasn't careful enough, so I, I just did it. So I could touch it and change the properties right here. Upper limit level two, so that was a mistake. I wanted up to the roof but before I fix it let's let's look what I did so let's go to the section and this is my chest I, I did up to level 2 plus an offset of 12 you could just drag it and let me touch it I could drag it and say as even if I go farther away look it will shrink because the calculation stops where it's finding an object right there which is the roof and if I look my properties now is from level uh, the upper limit is level 2 but with an offset of 28 feet but now if I change it down my offset is 24, but even though it's, it's stopping where an object uh, limits the space, now it, it could be more nicely if I I chose the roof since the beginning and I choose zero. Now it's the same thing after, after all because it, it Revit understand where is a, a limit and the limit is any object so this is my roof my limit it was anyways an object which is the roof object and the walls on side on each side anyway so that is my space and in the exercise they call it chase because the architect didn't didn't choose a name so name chase and the number whatever is the sequence number it will be it will be that number it's, it's choosing the next one because the last one I did was 116 B but we choose that number the architect didn't put any number so we say okay and if I go back to the floor plan and if for whatever reason you don't have one tag, let's say you didn't put a tag, I erase, erase only the tag. On the, the same analyze space tag, it will let me tag and, and you could choose leader or not leader. So I, I tag it, but also you could tag all at one time. 
So let's say if you forgot to tag, you haven't tagged any anyone, you could go here on annotate, tag all, and choose a space with volume, and it will ch choose all objects in current view and you say OK and leave it horizontal, no no leader and when you say OK it will tag anything that you forgot to tag in this case everything is tagged alright alright, revitunes.com uh, let's watch uh, the next video please